Hi, welcome to this video. Maybe you've asked the question, why do my adult participants don't get the results that I want them to get in, our, in my course? And the reason might be unknown to you, but adults learn in a different way. And that's what we are gonna talk about today. Do adults learn differently? My name is Max Quiroz from Max and Root Training, and I welcome you to this video. And yes, adults do learn differently. And we are going to learn why do they process information in different ways than, kin that, than children, than boys and girls, and how we can use that information to design our adult learning programs so that they have the maximum efficiency and efficacy. We've heard of a term that's called andragogy, and andragogy is a term opposed to pedagogy, and andragogy has to do with how adults learn. And the Greek roots, it comes from the two Greek words, andra or andros, that means man, and goji, that means guidance or guide. And andragogy means the guidance of man or men as opposed to the guidance of children. Pedagogy comes from paidos, that means children, and goji, that means guidance, so guidance of children, pedagogy. But nowadays, andragogy is a known term, but it was first introduced by Alexander Kapp in 1833 in Germany. Alexander Kapp was a school teacher. He taught small children in the local school. But in the afternoons, he helped adults to learn how to read and learn different things. And he was the first to understand that adults learn differently from children, and thus he coined the term andragogy, and that's the education or the learning way of adults. But that term stayed in the back burner until 1967, in the late 60s, when Malcolm Knowles, an American uh, researcher and scientist rediscovered the term andragogy and just catapulted into orbit and everybody started talking about the different ways in which adult learns. And Knowles proposed several principles of andragogy. We're not going to go into all the principles. We're just going to mention some aspects that for us are important that you must know in order to design your adult learning courses. The first thing that Knowles found is that adults need an intrinsic or internal motivation. Adults only learn what they want to learn. And that means that if we force adults to go to trainings that they don't want to attend, what happens? There will be a resistance. They will be resistant to learning. They will build a barrier, a wall, and they won't learn. And that's one of the first reasons that many of the adults that go to training programs don't learn because many of them don't want to learn that thing or don't want to learn that subject or they don't want to be there. Ruth and I from Max and Ruth Training have found this in several occasions when in different institutions, people have been forced to attend our programs. And the key here, the secret here, is to find a way to link your content to what they want to learn. When you are able to do that, adult participants will learn and will commit and will participate 
fully in your program. So find that internal motivation and link it to your contents. And that's the way to overcome that resistance. Another important aspect is that for adults, it's important to know what's in it for them. What benefits will they get for, from participating in our programs? How is this course, this program going to help them personally, professionally, whichever aspect you choose, but it must help them in some way so that they can really commit and they can really hook to your program and they're hooked by your program and they're participating and they're committed to their own learning. So it's very important that from the start, you tell them what, what's in it for them and what benefits they're gonna get for, from participating in your program. So it's important that you understand this. Another important aspect is that adults learn by doing. We used to think that only children and teenagers learn by doing, but now it's proven that adults also learn by doing. So your programs must incorporate a lot of practice activities, something where they can learn something and then practice that new knowledge. If they are able to do this, learn something theoretically and then practice it, what happens? Knowledge goes deep into them and they will remember what they learned with you for a long time. And that's another thing that we find in adult learning programs, that adults tend to forget what they learn because they weren't able to practice what they learn theoretically. So it's important for you to program and design different kinds of activities so they can practice and put into effect what they've just learned. Another aspect that is really, really important for adults is that most of the adults that attend training programs go because they need to solve some kind of problem. And we have to have that problem orientation. Our courses and programs should help adults solve problems. And that's the basis of corporate training. Corporate training programs are designed to help people solve problems that they find on the job. So it's very important for us whenever we are designing our programs that we understand and we perf know perfectly what problems does our problem, our program help them solve. So keep that problem orientation in mind always. Yes, experience affects learning. It's very important for us to understand that all adult participants come to our programs with a big, big, huge backpack of experiences. And those experiences can help them learn new things or can prevent them from learning new things. The important thing is that all adults come with a huge baggage of experiences and we have to be able to use that experience to support our learning programs. And that's why it's very important always to understand what they have experienced allow them to share that experience with us and with the group so that we can know how to aim our programs and that so that they that our program can help them really help them learn something new 
and not be stopped by a wall of rejection. So it's important that to understand that experience affects learning. It has been found that adults learn much better in informal situations. So you can ditch all those rigid, structured courses and protocols. Adults learn better in informal situations where they can share, where they can communicate, where they can uh, establish some sort of community sense with other adults. And when we understand that we are not teachers, we are not the owners of knowledge and, and, and wisdom, we are facilitators of their learning process when we are one more of the community that is learning with them and helping them achieve some educational goals that's when adults really learn so we have to change our point of view we have to change our position to that of an aid in the learning process and when we do that our adult participants will learn much more faster and easier than in a different situation. And this is also, this has to do with that. Adults want to be treated as equals, not as somebody, they don't want us to be above them and telling them that they are they have to learn that we are here to bathe them with our wisdom and with our knowledge no they want we should establish from the very beginning that we are equals and that we are all learning in this process they're learning some things we are learning other things so we are all learners and we are at an equal level and we are all adults participating in this process and they have free choice. They can elect to be there. As a matter of fact, as in point number one, we said they, they need an internal motivation. They only learn what they want to learn. And so they can choose what to learn. So adults can choose what they really want to learn. So it's very important for us to understand this. And finally, adults learn much better in a social situation. We're social beings, humans are social beings. And we learn much more when we are in small groups and by pairs and, or groups or threesomes where we can share our experiences and learn from other people's experiences. And that's the way we learn in social settings. So it's very important to design social activities in all of our learning programs. These are different aspects of andragogy that we must take into consideration when designing our adult learning programs. We really hope that this video has been helpful for you and we see you in the next one. Have a great day.